Duncan is ready for you to fall hard, so when you hear those leaves rustling, it's time to eat, sleep, and drink Pumpkin at Duncan with pumpkin muffins, munchkins, and donuts. Pair them with a classic pumpkin spice signature latte or the ultra smooth pumpkin cream cold brew. America runs on Duncan. Price and participation may vary. Limited time offer terms apply. Welcome to the latest episode of Five on the Floor on the Five Reasons Sports Network. Thanks for joining us on your favorite podcast app. We're now on Red Circle as well as Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. We're also on the Five Reasons YouTube channel. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Plenty of heat and Dolphins content. We put up more than 20 videos in the past 24 hours. If you're not subscribed, you're missing it. Also, FiveReasonSports.com. Make sure you spell that one out for the latest content in written form without a paywall. Also want to thank our sponsors. Make sure you reach out to this guy, Mark Brown, M-A-R-C-BrownPA.com. That's M-A-R-C-BrownPA.com. The phone number is 954-566-5678, 954 566 Five six seven eight. You got to reach out to Mark for a couple of different things. First thing, if you have a family, you need an estate plan. Okay, don't just leave it up to chance. If you have assets, you want to make sure they go to the right person. Mark can help you go through all of the forms with you. It's a real easy process. It's not expensive, and it is absolutely necessary. He's based in North Lauderdale, just off of Cypress Creek and Andrews, but he can service you anywhere in the area. So reach out to Mark for that. Again, MarkBrownPA.com. Also. If you have real estate, you got a closing. We know that the real estate market is complicated right now. Prices are starting to crash a little bit. But if you are selling or buying property, you got to get your closing done properly. Okay. And I did that with Mark a couple of different times. He handled some complicated situations for me. Reach out to Mark again at 954 566 5678. Again, markbrownpa.com. And now today's episode split into two parts. First, going to hear from Eric Spolstra, and then you're going to hear from Tyler Hero. These are both one-on-one interviews that I did in the Bahamas at the Bahamar Resort in Nassau during Miami Heat training camp. Down to Biscay. Yay. Uh, five on the floor, ride for my dogs, where here's the thing, you can check the score, hustle hard, couple scars, wearing bubble frogs, just like Buckley said, you in trouble, y'all, kept the floor playing, got an all band, y'all seen the block, stop the one hand, and pack with trust, it's power, have the guts, we here to bring the heat, y'all can hang it up. Welcome to Five on the Floor, a daily insider show on the Miami Heat and the NBA featuring Ethan Skolnick, Greg Sylvander, and Alex Toledo, plus others from the Five Reasons Sports Network. It's unusual the past couple of days to hear as many guys on this team say, I want this role, I want to start. Do you encourage that? Because I know you talk about competitors only and all that kind of stuff, but... Max has kind of said it. Vic has said it. Tyler has said it. Yurt has said it. And yeah. others, you know, about what he thinks his role can be. You know, uh, and obviously, you know, Jimmy has said what he wants to play and he doesn't want to play, which I know you yeah. do. But is that, do you encourage that? Do you want that? And how do you as a coach kind of foster that so it's channeled the right direction? I don't necessarily encourage it or discourage it. Uh, you know, our versatility obviously is one of our, our versatility and our depth are, couple of our biggest strengths of our roster uh, but also you could put pretty close uh, after that you know, would be the individual ambition of a lot of our guys and that is a major strength guys have really worked to grow and get better and be, be a different player and then particularly you have an off season where you get several weeks uh, to train I do want to leverage that, that ambition um, and be open to the possibilities of how guys can be different and help us in a, in a different, hopefully better way. Now, with all that said, any great team, if you're going to compete for a title, you have to really embrace that concept that it's bigger than you. And it will require, at some point, a level of sacrifice. And sacrifice is always easier when you don't have to be the guy sacrificing. But everybody's going to have to give up some mm-hmm. that you want. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. And it's okay to not want to give that up. You right. know? Right. But to truly accomplish something in a team sport that requires everybody mm-hmm. to be playing at optimal level and bringing out the best in everybody, it does require a level of sacrifice. And we do have those kind of guys. Uh, we don't have to do that right now. 
you know, we still have to figure some things out. Um, I don't really have those answers right now. I'm trying to line up some rotation. But we'll get there, and, and I think our guys uh, understand that. You have had all kinds of different teams. As I, you had sort of the big ego, big expectation teams with the big three. You also had a team where everybody was on expiring contracts, 2009, 2010. I, I assume the challenges are different yeah. with all of that. It's, it's invigorating. Yeah. I love the different uh, complexions of teams, mm -hmm. different challenges. I don't want to always try to compare it to a previous team. Oh, it's just like this. Mm -hmm. I like it when it's different. Mm -hmm. The challenge is the same. It's gnarly. <laughs> You know, you're looking out, out on that sea and you got, you know, six months of a really tough, you know, regular season. Um, You've also got a very competitive conference now, very too. Very competitive. I, I think, you know, so many factors to that. Mm -hmm. uh, the play-in, I mm -hmm. think, has been really good for the league. Uh, because more teams are competing now to try to put together a team to, to you know, at least get in, try to get in the playoffs. And so I want to like embrace that that competition and the, and the journey with this group and, and see if we can you know help and, and guide this team you know to be able to, to do something special and then ultimately everybody else trying to help each other to be able to accomplish something you know in a team sport it's not we're not playing tennis it's not uh, MMA fighting you know we're, we're, we're dependent on your teammates. Um, you have to develop a, a deep level of trust over the course of, of several months. And also the league has changed, too, in terms of the style of play. I mean, you were involved in the positionless stuff. Now we see a lot of the teams in the East have gotten bigger yeah. a little bit. Does, I mean, do you want to dictate, or are you more adjusting to what other teams do? Do you feel you have the roster to do both, I guess? Yeah. Um, you know, we always like to be in a, in a position of... of making the first move and you see how teams will move on that. Mm -hmm. Will it always work out that way? No. Um, I don't always want to be catching mm -hmm. and, and reacting. Um, if we get the ratio a little bit more where we're dictating, that, that would be probably more helpful. Uh, the league has changed. Uh, there's different. I think it's always good. Uh, teams are, are doing different things now. You can't just all be the same. Um, and we're going to play our way. You know, and our versatility will be a, a big part of a big part of that. How much scratch paper did you use uh, this off season? Just going over yeah. lineup combinations and all of that stuff. Like all of it. Yeah. And, and you know what? Um, it just felt like a normal off season. Mm -hmm. We were able to get away from it, decompress, mm -hmm. and then go through the whole process of uh, of an autopsy mm -hmm. of the previous season. Uh, and then to analyze the league, analyze our roster, analyze what we think would be the best plan. Uh, where the last two off seasons were, were fast, it was coming out of the bubble. We didn't even do an autopsy. Mm -hmm. We didn't even have time. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, we're right into the season, mm -hmm. and, and we kind of laid out a very similar plan to what we had before. So this time we were able to like step back, take the emotion out of it, and start with blank sheets of paper, mm -hmm. and let's not assume anything. You have a book or a theme or something like that. You giving anything out to the players I'm not this time? Anything to you? I don't want anything, okay, uh, but to yeah, them. There's you know. some messages. I have to <laughs> yes. I'm sure they'll come out in press conferences. We'll I would think it's something. We'll see. All right. Well, congratulations yeah. again. All right. Thank you. All right. One more interview to go here on Five on the Floor. Got a chance to speak to Tyler Hero. Before we do, I want to tell you about a great sponsor, the Five Reasons Sports Network. If you need help with recovery, you need help with sleep, you got to get premium CBD from Therapist Preferred. Use the code 5RSN. That's the number five. And then RSN for Reason Sports Network. You get 25% off the tincture, the sports cream, the gummies, all of that. And again, it's all legal CBD at Therapist Preferred. Dot com. Also, our fantasy sponsor is Prize Picks. You know that by now. Use the code FIVE for that one, F-I-V-E. Get your initial deposit matched up to $100. Number one fastest growing sports product in the country this past year. And that is also legal in the state of Florida and many other states. Use the code, again, F-I-V-E at Prize Picks. You can download it from the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store, or just go to prizepicks.com. And we know this episode is likely running on Thursday. Dolphins Bengals. Go over on Hill and Waddle again. And now, Tyler Hero. Here with Tyler Hero. 
When Dwayne was playing, uh, he had a saying, and he always said, uh, my belief is stronger than your doubt. Mm -hmm. He even did a commercial like that once. Do you feed off that stuff? I mean, how much do you hear, and does it drive you? How do you harness it? Yeah, it, it drives me. Um, you know, I see what every, every, everybody says. I see everything. I make sure I see everything. You know, I like seeing everything. I like what people say about me. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it motivates me. You know, I was... People been, you know, talking about me since I was in middle school. Like, I swear to God, it's been crazy. So, like, it's, it's normal to me. And at, at some point, I just, like, took it in as, as motivation. It's just it motivates me every summer and all season. Do people tell you not to look at it? Do they ever say... No, I, one, no one close to me tells me not to because they know <laughs> I've been doing it since I was right. young. And I'm going to continue to do it. <laughs> so where do you look? You look... Twitter, IG, everywhere, I mean, my television. Send me stuff. Like I got it all. I'm telling you. <laughs> What's the most ridiculous thing you've seen out there? The one that you're just like, okay, that's just crazy. That they don't think I can do this, or they think this about me, or whatever. What's the thing that that like you're like, okay, that's just yeah, so far um, off. I mean, there's, I've seen some crazy trades for, for for some crazy players. For me, like, I don't know. I've seen everything. I mean. Um, it's just, I, I can't tell you one thing, but I think just looking at everything, it's, it's just, like I said, it's motivation. And, um, I see the things that they say my game isn't here or there. Um, but, but you know what it is, yeah. right? I mean, before last year, people thought I would never be a 20-point scorer. Mm -hmm. Scored 20, and now they're saying 20 is not enough. So. 25, it probably still won't be enough. They also said you don't play against starters when you play the entire fourth quarter, right? Like yeah. some of that stuff. So we'll see. But why do you think you're a lightning rod, though? What, what is it? Because you, you don't you don't project. I mean, I mean, dress flashy, but you don't project yourself. You don't talk big about yourself. You're not that kind of person. Like, what do you think it is? Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Skin color, I don't know. It's, it's a bunch of different things, but like, someone if they're talking about you, it's a good thing. It's a good, it's a good thing if you know people are talking. About. But you're three years in, uh, you're sixth man of the year at this point. When you looked at for growth in your game this offseason, you talked about your defense, obviously. How do you think you can become a plus defender? Well, that's not discussed anymore in any way. Like, what, what I mean, do you feel you have the physical capability to do it? Um, I think, well, first, I think it's no matter if I play good D, people are going to say I'm not a good defender no matter what. You know, that's just what comes with me, I guess. Um, but if you look through the season, like, I wasn't a bad defender at all last year, you know, throughout the season. Um, you know, my numbers were one of the best on the team as far as isolation, like one-on-one -on -one defense. And I think, you know, in the playoffs, obviously things change. And, you know, guys, every possession coming at you, every possession, mm -hmm. which, which is different. So, you know, the playoffs, I have to make an adjustment, um, more so mentally than physically, honestly. And I think, you know, that's something I have to do work on myself. As far as what was the question again? Well, let's switch to offense. On the offensive side, you've always been able to score. Okay, you saw different coverages, obviously, in the postseason. Yeah. How did you kind of break that down in the offseason? Like, did you study the film on it? Did you see what guys were doing to you? Because you made the adjustments from second year to third year. So what is the offensive adjustment from third year to fourth year? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to expect a lot more blitzes and double teams and guys, longer guys. Just, you know, I'm going to see the best defender you know, every night. If they're not on Jimmy, they'll be on me. If they're not on me, they'll be on Jimmy. So I see the best defender, and I think my adjustments this summer were just working on being more efficient with where I want to go and like not just as a young player I feel like you kind of just do things and do them not with really a purpose I think when you're my adjustment is just knowing what I want to do knowing what my objective is and having a purpose behind why I'm doing things on the court because if not that's when you get trapped and get doubled and just knowing where my spots are and getting to my spots more efficiently with knowing there's going to be a double a trap something's coming but you got to your spot, like certain spots like last year, like the floater. Like mm -hmm. that was something that you kind of unleashed. I know you had it before, but you unleashed yeah. it a little bit more. Is there another shot, another spot on the floor where you I, mean, I worked on a lot of isolation stuff this summer, mm -hmm. like with Drew Hanlon. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I 
a great pick and roll player. Like, if you play the drop coverage, the whole league knows what's going to happen. Right. Um, well, that's why you wanted to see yeah. Milwaukee. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We might not be having the same conversation. No, we probably would. No, I remember before the playoffs yeah. on who you wanted to see. That yeah. would have looked a little different from Boston, right. I think. Right. No doubt. I'm watching that series. Like, come on. Come on, Milwaukee. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, I mean, it's, um, it's, an, it's an adjustment, but, you know, Drop coverage, you know, I can tear that up. And then you know, I've been working on a lot of isos against switches when not needing the screen to be able to break my defender down, and, um, you know, whether it's breaking the three or getting to the rim. So that's what I was going to ask you because the, the idea, that's the other thing that comes up. Tyler needs a screen. Mm-hmm. You want it to be where Tyler doesn't need a screen, yeah. right? That's the, that's I, the I, next step in yeah, the evolution here. Sure. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just want to, I think I'm, I can be one of the best scorers in the league you know, by the end of my career. I think I, I have the skill set to do that, but I honestly think that. So just being able to year by year, like you said, make an adjustments to how guys are guarding me and making sure my, my game continues to develop as, as I get older. I, to tie it back to the beginning of this conversation, I mentioned Dwayne. Has he ever had any conversations with you? Because I remember him going through this his first two, three years, teams guarding him differently. Obviously, he had the huge breakout in his third season. Uh, but he, has he ever had any discussions with you about I know he's a fan of yours personally. Yeah, yeah I haven't talked to him honestly since my rookie year. Uh-huh. It's been a minute. Uh, I should probably reach out to him and see if he has any good for me. Well, I don't know if he can now because he's oh, got he that can. whole Utah. <laughs> That's probably why he hasn't reached out. <laughs> They're probably trying to get me this summer. <laughs> well, we heard some rumors about that. <laughs> we know that the GM there likes you, yeah. so or did in the draft. Uh, final thing here. Um, it, uh, you, you obviously had a goal last year getting stronger, um, but you also look leaner this year. What, 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 did, what did you do in terms of your body? Yeah, no, I was last summer I was about 198 coming into the season. Uh-huh. I was telling Ira I lost like 10 pounds um, throughout the season. So by the playoffs, I was playing at like 188. Like, okay. And that was part of my struggle too. You know, I didn't. I was. I wasn't the same player as I was when I came in um, to the season and even All Star break. You know, the weight went down. And it's, it's harder to play at that weight, you know, especially in the playoffs when things get more physical. So where are you at now? I'm. I'm back where I'm at, like 198. My body percent's 4.5. Like I'm. I got the lowest body fat on the team. Make sure Jimmy knows that. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm stronger, I'm leaner, and my thing this year is just being able to keep my weight and keep my strength throughout the season. So by the time I get to the playoffs, I'm still that same guy. Would you rather, final thing, would you rather uh, in the next few months, everybody's talking about how great you are or the opposite? Um, honestly, I don't know. It's the start of the season, so... <laughs> I'm coming out with guns blazing. I'm ready. So um, I don't think there'll be much to say. They were quiet at the beginning of last season, too. Thanks, Tyler. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you for listening to The Five on the Floor on the Five Regional Sports Network. Autumn is in the air. Time for back to school, football games, and pumpkin lattes. Fall is also a great time to buy or sell a car online at driveway.com. Welcome to Driveway, where you can feel completely in control of your car buying or selling experience. Our nationwide network with tens of thousands of vehicles is unmatched. And when you buy from Driveway, there's no pressure. We offer our best price up front. That's Driveway, a customer-friendly experience that makes buying or selling your car easy. Drive. Auto done easy. Hey, Becky, what about this beat for your next song? Mm, it's cool, but I'm into faster stuff lately, like Xfinity that gives me beyond gig speeds. Got it. What about this, then? Mm, it sounds powerful, just like Xfinity. Because its supersonic Wi-Fi has three times the bandwidth, you can connect hundreds of devices at once. <laughs> That's what I call power. Unbeatable internet from Xfinity. Made to do anything so you can do anything. Restrictions apply. Actual speeds vary, not guaranteed. Requires compatible Xfinity gateway. Limited quantities available. What's that place you've always wanted to try? While well, you're there, sharing plates with just one bite. Or on second thought, maybe not sharing. It's that good. When you're with Amex, it's not if it's going to happen, but when. American Express. Don't live life without it. Barriers. I'm all about breaking them. Hi, it's Luis Fonsi, international recording artist and South Florida resident. When it comes to creating music, I love mixing different musical styles and creating something new and unexpected. Ford builds SUVs and trucks the same way, breaking barriers with what you expect. Ford delivers strength, capability, and mixes in a level of comfort and style that's new, exciting, and perfect.
perfect for South Florida. Visit your local Ford dealer today to get a great deal on a new Ford SUV or truck.